Hey guys, Paul Cigar Life here. I'm actually going to do my first unboxing video. And this one's going to be a true unboxing because um, it's actually a gift from a cigar store that I always buy a lot from. So let's find out exactly what's in it. My wife ordered a bunch during Father's Day. I still got a bunch coming, but this one's supposed to be their gift. That's the world's strongest packing tape. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Alright. Don't need that. El Galleon Compicio Connecticut Wrapper. Connecticut Wrapper from Nicaragua is probably going to be pretty good. Uh, actually, I don't know anything about this cigar, so... I think I might try it out. Let's see. All right. Let's see what it's like real quick. Packaging golden red. Can't really see in the light, but it has a good smell. It's got a nice cap on it, so even if I'm not going to smoke this one, let me just see if it's long filler or not, because I don't know the price point of this one. Their gifts are normally around $50, so sent me a pack of 25 so probably thinking around $50. Yeah, it's a long filler, so it's all the way through. I don't normally use a box cutter to open them, I use that deep V cutter, but... Oh, I don't want to squeeze it too hard. This one's definitely dry, guys. Um, I would normally smoke these on an unboxing video uh, if it came from somewhere really good. Normally they're nice and not dry. But um, sat outside today in the Texas sun for a couple hours before I came home and picked them up. So definitely not going to smoke this one yet. It would, it would not do it justice even if it is... $50 for 25 of them. So what I'm going to do, throw this baby back in the package, throw it in the humidor. I'm going to leave it there for a couple days. I'm going to check it again probably tomorrow or the next day just to see how the humidity is coming along. Um, if they're all good, then should be better. I like to take mine out of the package when I put them in the humidor. It's a little bit more work, but I find out uh, Touching the cedar itself, being rotated with the rest of the stock, makes it smell a little bit better. Actually gets some aging in. When it's sitting in plastic, that's like trying to age whiskey in a bottle. It's not going to age in a bottle. It'll all age in a barrel for a reason because it's being filtered by the wood. Same thing with uh, cigars. Yeah, if you can't smell them through the plastic, they're not going to be touching the cedar. So I'll, I'll definitely do a video on these, smoking them, trying them out. I've never had them before. Um, might be really good. I don't know. So we'll do a video on it and see. Doesn't smell half bad. Doesn't feel half bad. Long filler. Nicaraguan tobacco. Has a lot of good things going for it. But we'll see exactly what it is. So guys. I am going to do a video. Um, I promised to review the AVO. And a lot of people chose the Grey Cliff last time. I did record a video. But unfortunately didn't have any audio so here I am with a new webcam new logo thanks to my wife over here so looks like we're all set and ready to go with Cigar Life and I'll be back with a review yeah probably another day or so thank you guys for watching uh, gonna check it out on Cigar Life you can check me out on Facebook or on YouTube don't forget to like share and subscribe good cigar good life everybody see y'all tomorrow